In order to find the perimeter of each of the figures for 1 through 4, you're going to need to find the distances between each set of points. It might be helpful to plot these points first. Um, however, if you do plot 3 and 4, they will not come out to be um, figures that you would normally take the perimeter of. 1 is a straight line. It just comes out kind of weird. So I'm sorry about 3 and 4. But basically, I'm just going to find the distance between AB, BC, and AC. So I'll use AB, BC, and AC. The distance formula is going to be x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. This is my x, y, x, y, x, y. And depending on which one I'm doing, I can choose my x2 and y, or x1 and x2. If I'm doing a, b, I'll say that this is x2, y2, and x2, or x1, y1. It doesn't really matter which one you decide to be x1 and x2, just as long as it's paired with your y1 and y2. So for a, b, it'll be the square root of x2 minus x1, so x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. I'll simplify this in um, just a second, but I'll move on to bc now. bc will be the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Let's try to get this to focus a little better. And then for AC, we will do x2, which would be 2, minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So now I've gotten everything set up, and all I'm going to need to do now is the math behind it. So 5 minus 2 gives me 3 squared, plus negative 3 minus 3 will give me negative 6 squared. 3 squared is 9, negative 6 squared is 36. Anything that is a negative squared will always be a positive number. If you're trying to put negative 6 squared in your calculator, you need to make sure to do the parentheses on either side, because if you don't, your calculator will do 6 squared and then add the negative on at the beginning. So make sure that if you're doing negative 6, that you have that in parentheses and the squared is outside the parentheses. Then if we have 36 plus 9, that will give me the square root of 45, and I'll come back and simplify that in just a moment. Looking at BC, 2 minus 5 gives me negative 3 squared plus negative 3 minus negative 3. Those two negatives together create a positive, so negative 3 plus 3 is 0 squared. Negative 3 squared is 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. The reason it's not plus or minus 3 is because the distance between BC is not going to be a negative 3. Now if we go on to AC, 2 minus 2 will be 0 squared plus negative 3 minus 3 will be negative 6 squared, which will be the square root of 36, which will be 6. Again, not plus or minus again because the distance between AC will not be negative 6 units. Now all I need to do is simplify 40, the root 45. I need to reduce my radical, which would be 9 times 5. 9 is 3 times 3. I've got a pair of 3's, and this 5 does not have anyone to be a pair with. The pair comes out, the 5 stays in. Now the perimeter, I have all the distances. All I need to do now is add them all together. So I've got a 6 and a 3, I can add those together to get 9. 9 plus 3 root 5. This is the same as saying 3 times root 5. So 9 plus 3 times root 5, I can't combine anything, so I will just say plus 3 root 5 units. And that will take care of number 1. 
For number two, it's a quadrilateral. I know that because I have four vertices. So that means I will need CA, AK, KE, and EC. So CA, AK, KE, and EC. CA will be X1, which would be negative 1, minus, I'm sorry, X2 minus X1 squared plus Y2 minus Y1 squared. AK is going to be X2 minus X1, which is negative 1, so minus a negative 1 squared, plus 2 minus negative 1 squared. So these were, this was x2, y2, and x1, y1. So I just plugged those into my formula. Then for ke, I'll do the same thing. I'll do x2, y2, x1, y1. So 3 minus 4 squared plus negative 2 minus 2 squared. And lastly, I'll do ec. For ec, that's going to be x2, y2, x1, y1. So 3 minus 0 plus negative 2 minus 3 squared. Now that I have everything plugged in, all I need to do is the math behind it. I can say negative 1 minus 0 is still going to be negative 1. So I'll have negative 1 squared plus negative 1 minus 3 is going to give me negative 4 and negative 4 squared. Here, 4 minus negative 1, those, a minus and negative becomes a positive. So 4 plus 1 becomes 5. So 5 squared plus 2 minus negative 1, again, those are going to become a positive. So 2 minus negative 1 becomes 2 plus 1, which is 3 squared. 3 minus 4 is negative 1 squared plus negative 2 minus 2 will be negative 4 squared. 3 minus 0 is still 3 and negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5 squared. And then we've got negative 1 squared will be 1. Negative 4 squared will be 16 which is going to give me the square root of 17. The only factors of 17 are 1 and 17. There will be no pairs, so that's as far as I can go. For AK, I'll get the square root of 25, because that's 5 squared, plus 3 squared, which is 9, which will give me the square root of 34. Then I will get negative 1 squared is 1, plus negative 4 squared will be 16, which gives me the square root of 17. 3 squared gives me 9. And negative 5 squared gives me 25, which will give me the square root of 34. If I try to break down 34, that'll be 17 times 2, and nothing will go for 17. So there's no pairs, there's nothing I can do. However, if I look at all of the distances that I found, I've got the square root of 17 and the square root of 17. So total, I have two square roots of 17. So two root 17 plus, I also have two square roots of 34. So two root 34 units. And that will be my answer for number two.